loading a custom dataset. Although the Hugging Face Hub hosts over a thousand public datasets, you'll often need to work with data that is stored on your laptop or on some remote server. In this video, we'll explore how the datasets library can be used to load datasets that aren't available on the Hugging Face Hub. As you can see in this table, the datasets library provides several inbuilt scripts to load datasets in several formats. To load a dataset in one of these formats, you just need to provide the name of the format to the load dataset function, along with the data files argument that points to one or more file paths or URLs. To see this in action, let's start by loading a CSV file. In this example, we first download a dataset about wine quality from the UCI machine learning repository. Since this is a CSV file, we then specify the CSV loading script. Now this script needs to know where our data is located, so we provide the file name as part of the data files argument. And the loading script also allows you to pass several keyword arguments. So here we've also specified that the separator is a semicolon. And with that, we can see the dataset is loaded automatically as a dataset dict object with each column in the CSV file represented as a feature. If your dataset is located on some remote server like GitHub or some other repository, the process is actually very similar. The only difference is that now the data files argument points to a URL instead of a local file path. Let's now take a look at loading raw text files. This format is quite common in NLP, and you'll typically find books and plays are just a single file with raw text inside. In this example, we have a text file of Shakespeare plays that's stored on a GitHub repository. And as we did for the CSV files, we simply choose the text loading script and point the data files argument to the URL. As you can see, these files are processed line by line, so empty lines in the raw text are also represented as a row in the dataset. For JSON files, there are two main formats to know about. The first one is called JSON lines, where every row in the file is a separate JSON object. For these files, you can load the dataset by selecting the JSON loading script and pointing the data files argument to the file or URL. In this example, we've loaded a JSON lines file based on Stack Exchange questions and answers. The other format is nested JSON files. These files basically look like one huge dictionary, so the load dataset function allows you to specify which specific key to load. For example, the squad dataset for question answering has this format, and we can load it by specifying that we're interested in the data field. There is just one last thing to mention about all of these loading scripts. If you have more than one split, you can load them by treating data files as a dictionary that maps each split name to its corresponding file. Everything else stays completely unchanged, and you can see an example of loading both the training and validation splits from Squad here. And with that, you can now load datasets from your laptop, the Hugging Face Hub, or anywhere else you want.